Hey guys, I just wanted to give you guys a quick tour of my meditation room and the areas that I like to work in and meditate in and just some of the things that I find help me to stay centered and just the area that I love most in my house. So here we go. Okay guys, so here is my room. Our house isn't super big, so a lot of the rooms are fairly small, but this is my mirror and where I like to sit to meditate. So I have this super cute rug that I actually got at farmer's market from a lady that uses recycled materials like bedding sheets to reuse into rugs. So I have that and I actually put a yoga mat underneath of it to make it a little bit more comfortable on my knees and stuff. And then when I meditate, I have my mala beads that I use and I have this cute little box that I often use that I'll put little affirmations or things that I want to happen in my life in there. And so I can focus on them for the week and then I choose to let them go and know that the universe and my guiding love are taking care of me. And I have my cute little Zen garden over here and this fun little mandala painting that I made one time when I was bored that I thought would be really good. If I'm wearing my wedding ring or any other rings, I'll put them on this cute little guy. And then Brian got me this fun candle when I started learning about all the chakras. And so I light that all the time. Found this little guy at I think Big Lots actually, which is super fun. And then I have all my yoga stuff. So I have my yoga blocks from Yaloha, which I will tag down below. They are super cool because they are all sustainably sourced cork. And then I have my yoga blanket that's 100% cotton and it's really big, so I don't wanna spread it out, but it's really nice and it's soft, so I can use it to lay on top of me if I'm doing a longer term meditation and I'm cold or just to put under me as an additional support. I have my cute little dog bed for my little doxies and another spot for them to lay because they always have to snuggle. And this is where I work. I don't have a chair. So I've just been using this little meditation cushion with my yoga blocks underneath. And that seems to work well enough. And I have this cool tapestry that Brian bought in Afghanistan when he was there. So I hung that up because I thought that was super fun. When I want to sit, I have my camping backpacking chair and all of our backpacking mess back there. And then Brian finally hung up my cute little sign so I can hang all my stuff over here. So I have my cleaning stuff with vinegar and essential oils in it, as well as my little cloths and my other yoga mat. And then this is my main yoga mat that I use from Yaloha. It's all cork. And there's Miss Gracie, one of my little doxies. Say hi to everybody. I have my plant. And then when I feel like sitting on the floor, I actually made this cushion just for fun out of some extra fabric that I had. And it looks like it's really overstuffed, which it probably is but it's super comfy when I just wanna sit in here and do my journaling or just hang out in the mornings when it's really nice. So yes, yeah, so that's my room where I do all my yoga and all my meditations and just hang out. Real quick, I totally forgot since I just added this yesterday, I wanted to show you guys my vision board. I actually made it online with Canva and then I had it printed at Office Depot. 
So it has all the different things that I want to try to do by December, getting my coaching business off the ground, getting more followers and subscribers on Instagram and YouTube, trying to get my fitness back um, into a daily or weekly practice, trying to get my squats and my deadlifts up. We are trying to hopefully redo the kitchen. So I have new cabinets up there and new windows. And I just love these little chairs. So I put that on there as a fun little inspiration to add to my room. And I also have, since I'm working on my yoga teacher training right now, trying to start becoming a part-time yoga teacher and working on some of those poses specifically that I'm not super flexible in right now. We also love going backpacking. That's actually me and my dog, Bailey. So trying to go backpacking more often. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to get to my first meditation retreat. And my goal is to double my current income by doing my coaching practice. So yeah, that's my vision board that I also added to my room. So it's actually right below, or my meditation area is right below that. So every time I come into the room or anytime I'm done meditating, I can look up and see my vision board and remember what's going on. Also, this is Gwen. She's our little kitty cat. We love her. She loves this room just as much as I do. So she is always in here when I am. Thanks for watching guys. And if you have any other questions or want to talk about any of the things that I like to keep around during my meditations, you can comment down below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to see more about meditations or just general life stuff that's going on around here. Thanks guys. Namaste.